Hey guys, it's Jonathan from the Howard Hospitality Group. Welcome to another video. Today we are in a different kind of location. I wanted to do something a little different and do a little different video that might help you guys. But we're actually in what I call the Howard Hospitality Command Center. I don't know what else you want to call it, but this is where we um, do our live stream from. Behind me, you can see we got our computer set up. Um, these are our newer microphones that Amelia and I use to do our, and Sam, and to do our voiceovers for our videos. Um, and then you can kind of see this is where I'll be sitting. You guys have probably seen behind me when we do our live stream, but this is actually what I'm looking at when I'm sitting here doing the live streams with you guys. Uh, and just to give you kind of a different point of view, but this is where we're, uh, we don't call it magic. I don't know what you want to say, but this is where we do most of our stuff. This is where I create all our videos. Um, we do our voiceovers. We do everything here on our computer in our little center back here. Um, we count all our money and stuff over here. Um, we have our money scale and, and all our stuff that we're doing there. And we had a broken DBA, which a, I ordered a new faceplate for, so I'm working on, but there's a lot going on here, and this is where all that happens. But today's video is a video on tools. So I didn't really think about it, but over the past, we've been doing this year and a half or so, I basically kind of put together like a little toolkit that I take. Uh, we have two tubs. These are what the tubs look like. Um, I got them at Costco. I don't know if you can see those in the video or not, but they come in a pack of two, and, um, basically it has all of our tools and we take this with us wherever we go so when we do installs or we just go on route and do collections and service our machines we always take these two tubs with us and over the years i've kind of put together like a little toolkit that helps me kind of accomplish there's some weird little things in our the machines and stuff that we learn that you kind of have to have a few tools that really makes sense and that really work because you don't really want to spend a lot of time on location fixing things and doing things and we have put together a lot of um, machines in the past year and a half so we're, we've got quite a few now on our route and when they come they don't come put together you got to put them together so i found some tools that i kind of use that i like and so i thought i would kind of show you guys um what's in my toolkit and hopefully this may help you guys but um I got it kind of organized. I, ha I bought, I used to have kind of just one tub where I had a bunch of tools thrown into it. And what I learned is that it always seemed like I needed one more of this or that, or I needed it easily accessible. So I, I went on Amazon and probably, you know, tool fanatics will probably laugh at me, but they make really nice kit, like, you know, kits that, on Amazon that are really inexpensive and pretty good quality. And so what I've ended up doing is buying some kits that I use. So the first kit um, is a it's it's a um, it's a bit kit for your uh, if you guys use an impact drill or you guys use a, um, you know a socket driver or whatever you may use. Uh, and what it's got is um, a bunch of different drill bits. And you can buy this on Amazon. They're really inexpensive and it basically has every single tip that you'll ever need in it. And there was, cause we just started doing arcade games. So we got in the Cruising USA and a um, Arctic Thunder and those machines use these, um, these star bits that have the holes in the middle of them, which I had never even used those before. So you never know what you're gonna use that's in these kits and this kit has it all it even has the you know like if you want to put it in your drill it's got the thing to put in your drill it's got everything so we're you know i'm really happy with this sam is mostly the mechanic in the family so he uses a lot of this stuff to build the machines and put everything together and as of late he's been pretty much fixing everything and putting together the machines and stuff so that's the first one is just a bit kit um a lot of these I found and put links down in the description below in our Amazon. Um, they are affiliate links, so um, we don't know how that's going to work, but I guess if you click on it, then supposedly we're supposed to get credit or something for it, but we haven't really figured that part out yet. But there are links down in the description below, and hopefully that will help you find some of these things. So the other thing that we started doing is installing our own credit card readers. We're starting to use a new company called Kiosoft and when they come um, the machines that we have don't already have 
the the holes and stuff drilled in it for the credit card machines so i ended up buying myself a um it's a 230 piece drill bit set that has um every single drill bit you can ever possibly want there um i can't remember what coating they have on them it's in the description down below um, but I think it's titanium or something that they're coated with. But man, these things just rip right through anything. And so it comes with all the different, um, hopefully you guys can see that, but it comes with all the different sizes and there's, you know, 10 to 15 to 20 of each. And um, it should be every single size drill bit that you'd ever need. And that's really nice to have when we were doing our install up at our diner. We were putting in a big choice and a toy soldier. We needed to drill holes for our credit card readers and stuff. and on the galaxies um because i installed all the kiosoft um credit card readers on those and this came in super handy so we have a little drill bit set that we take with us and um probably one of my favorite things is this and what it is is um a uh, um ratcheting flexible wrench set so I love this. And if you guys are going to be doing any, putting together any of your machines, especially like the golden houses and stuff on the door where the change goes, there's actually a little hasp that comes out that you put your lock on. And then we tried all kinds of tools to get that on there and kind of find out this was the best tool that we found was a number seven of these. And, and that's, you know, cause it's got the angle on it. So you can angle it back there and tighten up those nuts. And this, this is great. So this is a, um, a millimeter version. They make an SAE version too, but we just need the millimeter one because most of the stuff that we're putting together, you know, of course is from China. And so this is gonna be your best friend. So I love this kit. We just got this maybe two months ago and I had had a few here and there, but it always seemed like it was never the right one. And now they're all in one set. So I highly recommend getting one of these because they are awesome and you have everything that you need all in one set right right when you need it so um and all this stuff also being in a set like this you you know it's easy to get to and it also fits nicely into the box so that's that um next we have an allen key set i've also um learned that you know with that drill bit set that a lot of these are already in the set as um drill bits so but i have this um uh, it's got a little leaf in there, but I've got this kind of as backup. So if Sam needs to work on something and I need to work on something at the same time, we can both use different things to get the job done. And so this never really comes out very often, but it's always nice to have a, um, an Allen wrench set. And this has both metric and regular size in it and you're good to go. So that is an Allen wrench set. I got that. We have a, a local store here. It's a, um, what do you call it? It's a, it's a really nice tool shop and uh, they had that on special there. And I picked that up one of the, gosh, almost two or three years ago and I still have it. But the next thing is I couldn't find a set. This is an impact socket set, which you don't necessarily need, but this is the only one that I could find that looked really nice and that had all the um, millimeter or I mean, not the millimeter, the, um, the, um, what do I want to say? Why is my brain not working today? But it had all of the, um, metric, uh, tips that I needed and none of the other ones did. So this had every single metric and, um, SAE in one set. It even comes with a little, uh, rent ratcheting wrench if you need that. And it comes with all the tips for your, um, drill or, whatever you may want to put these into, but these things, man, they're solid and they work great for bolts or nuts or we were using it and we had to fix a couple things on our trailer. And so it's just, it's just a great set and we don't use it very often, but man, when you, when you need it and you want to use it, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. I mean, this is an awesome set and I got this on Amazon also. It's down in the description below and we love this thing. So that's another really good kit that we keep with us. Another set that I bought uh, several years ago here at our Ace Hardware is a, um, it's a torque set. It's a socket torque set. And um, a lot of these are in that kit, um, but this has the socket 
version. So if you want to use a socket wrench versus using a drill, or if you want to use these on the end of a end of an impact drill, you could also. But they, it's a um, seven piece uh, torque set socket set and I just keep it in there I don't really use it very often but it's nice to have and it has a bunch of different sizes and it's by Craftsman and we got it at the Ace Hardware and then let's see what else I got in here so I always keep when I bought the um where is it oh I'll show you that in a second um I always keep a little screwdriver set and I got this at Ace man a long time ago like 10 years ago and it's it's a um it's a it's supposed to be a six piece i think i only got five in here i don't know where my other one went um probably lost it over the years but i've had this for quite a few years but it's a precision screwdriver set and so if you need to screw in some small screws or something like that on the board or something in your machine this is awesome and i love this little set and it was really inexpensive but i keep this on us just in case we haven't had to use it in vending yet but I, you know, I, I kind of keep in there because I have a feeling that one of these days we'll be using it. So it goes in there. Um, I bought this set on Amazon. And what it was is, is for an impact drill. And um, I think it was, it's basically a flexible drill kit. And so you can probably see it better from this side. But it's got, um, so if you need to screw around corners or anything with your impact drill or um, your uh, power screwdriver, it's got all the socket adapters for all of your sockets, the different sizes. It's got an angled uh, screw bit holder. It's got a bendy screw holder, which is awesome. And then it had two different lengths of um, extensions that you can put in your impact drill. So I have one on one of our impact drills, which is this one that I keep in my box. So this I'm gonna talk about in a second, but um, it comes with a short one and a long one that is an extension. And then it also comes with a bunch of bits on there too. And this was a really inexpensive set. And if I think if I, if I think about it, I'll go on there. I don't think this is in the list in the description, but I will go back and add it. So probably our new favorite tool is actually this one. And what it is, is it's, we went to Harbor Freight to buy uh, um, like an air inflator because we started putting the knobby balls in our machines and we went in there and we were looking at like the 12 volt ones you plug in your cigarette lighter or something and there was a really young kid there that was was helping us and he's like what about this one and he showed us this one and what this is is it's an inflator but it's battery powered so when you buy it it doesn't come with a battery but right now they had a special, and if you bought the extended battery, the 64 or 20 volt, five amp or amp hour battery, you got an extra tool for free. So we ended up getting this nice impact drill, which is really nice, actually. We've been really liking this, and we got this along with it, and when we got this for free for when we bought the, um, uh, the inflator. But this inflator is awesome. Sam uses this when we're on our way to a location to set up a machine, he, he inflates the balls in the back of the car and throws them in a box. And so when we get there, all the balls are inflated and ready to go. Or if you need to inflate something on location, like how awesome is it to have it that it's battery powered? So these are probably two of our favorite new toys that we got. I don't, I've always been a DeWalt guy. I've never used Bauer, but so far this has been a great drill and a great, um, air compressor or air inflator we love this thing it's even got a little um you know um not a scale but it's got the little um you know you know what i'm talking about it's got that on the end i can't think tonight but that's what that is and uh we love that so that's always in our kit and then um we got some other stuff in here from when we did the fairs and stuff so which we don't use, but we bought some on Amazon. We bought some fairy string lights that are actually RGB. These are really cool. So we keep this in here. It's usually in the other tub. And we we keep it just in case we have a location that maybe wants like some more lights or something flashing or something. You can program these to do all different kinds of things and they were really inexpensive. We actually bought them for the fairs to put on are we had some little a-frame signs that we put outside the buildings and we put these on the signs and then rolled them up all nice and put them back in the box and they're they're great so those are and they're battery powered so there's two sets in here and they run on double a batteries so those are also in there but back to tools so 
in here, I just have kind of an Amazon box that I cut the top off. And what this is, this is kind of like my free, my, my loose, my loose um, tools that I have. But I have two favorites in this box that I absolutely love. And the first one is, I'm trying to remember what size the socket is. I think it's a seven millimeter. Yeah, it is a seven millimeter. So this is just a screwdriver with a long seven millimeter socket on it. And this is our best friend. We use this thing all the time. And um, if you guys want the tool that you'll use, I mean, we use this to put together machines. We use it on location. You can take on and off your DBAs with it. Basically every nut I think that's in our machine except for a couple um, on all of our machines is about seven millimeters. And so this is a great tool and we use this a lot. And then my second favorite tool that I have in here is, um, where is it? Is it in here? Oh yeah, there it is. So I used to, back in the day, I used to do a lot of RC planes and RC cars. And they had, you know, when you're into this, the sport of RC, or what do you want to say, the hobby of RC cars and stuff. There's always the trick stip stuff you can buy for, for putting together the um, cars and the planes and stuff. And this was something I bought back then, which is probably when I was 17 or 18 years old. And it is a, um, it's a Allen wrench. I believe it's three, it's a 3.0, I think. And this is your, the best tool you can possibly ever have. And they sell these actually on Amazon in a kit. You can get like three or four different ones in a zip up pouch, which is probably what I would get if I lost this for some reason. But this tool is the best thing. So like if you need to take the control panel off of your claw machine or just tighten any nuts or bolts, this thing is awesome. And instead of having to use an Allen wrench, which like I said, we never really pull that out. This is your best friend and we use this a lot and this is awesome. So if you look on Amazon, you can see that they have like the kits and probably just get yourself a kit with a few of these in it and you'll thank us for it because it's just like the best thing ever. So in here, um, I got all different kinds of, you know, size screwdrivers. I've got um, some electrical um, crimpers and stuff like that. I've got short screwdrivers because you never know when you need to, especially if you're like fixing the walls inside the claw machines and stuff, you need a short, a shorter screwdriver. I got a Phillips one of those in here. I got a couple of pairs of scissors, um, wire cutters and in, and, and all that kind of stuff. And then I, we actually have a, a really nice electrical toolbox that we put together that when we're going to go do any electrical work on Niax or, or Kiosoft or anything like that, we bring that with us and it's got a solder iron and, and all that stuff in it, but that's a separate kit. But this is just stuff that we may need just offhand. So there's like some, basically like, you know, like your short screwdriver and, and, um, and, and all that kind of stuff. But I have a couple of these that are nut drivers that is like has that seven millimeter nut driver. We always keep, um, um, a you know a nice box knife in here and that we always use to open boxes and stuff but yeah that's that's pretty much most of the tools that i take with me and this is just kind of stuff i had extra of in my toolkit out there that you just kind of collect over the years and i threw the the stuff i like to use in a box that i'm going to use more often um and then the rest of it i have it in my toolbox in the in the garage but this is this is an awesome kit and and it's just a bunch of stuff that you would have like that's your normal tools that most of you guys have just kind of around and so that's what the first tub has in it now the second tub is a little more of your one-off stuff the stuff you don't use very often but you always want to have it on hand so in this tub we've got um so we put these as prizes in our prize lockers so these are 620 game it looks like a little mini nintendo and um these are like you can get them you can get them from eva or you can actually get them on uh, timu or um, um alibaba or one of those and um or aliexpress if you wanted to they're about 20 bucks on there or you can order them from eva for about half the price and uh, we put these in a lot of our machines we do these we do boxes of Pokemon cards, um, but we do, and then we do some big poops uh, and things like that. But we always keep one of these on hand in our tub because we've gone to a few locations and they didn't let us know that somebody got the actual, you know, um, 
prize locker prize and so we always have one just in case that happens and we need to put a new prize locker prize in there uh, this is um, we always carry at least one or two of these which is a 25 foot uh, power cord so you can get these on Amazon they're I think it's they're really inexpensive I can't remember what it is I can put a link um, I'll, if I think about it I'll put it in the description but you can get these on Amazon really inexpensive and we always keep two of these uh, one or two of these on us and whenever we run out we just order more before we run out of the last one so we'll find when we get to the last one we always order a couple more just to have on hand but i can't tell you how many times this has saved us when we've been to go set up a location and they end up changing the location of where they want it or you go back and they want to move it around or something like that and then the cord won't reach so this is really good to always keep on hand uh, we always have a power strip on hand um, the Kiosofts run on a modem, so you have two plugs that you'll have on your machine. So when you go and you do your Kiosoft, you're gonna have two plugs coming out, so sometimes you need a power strip, or you can put the power strip inside, and if it's short enough, you can just run this cord out to the plug. But this is, we always keep uh, an extra power strip on hand. We have um, uh, a couple parts that we always keep, we'll get to those in a minute. Um, we always keep uh, scotch tape on hand. We always keep, um, so here's my other drills. So these drills are my DeWalt's. These are my older ones that I've had for like ever. And so I've got these extra cause I don't have an actual real um, drill in my other kit. So I have the DeWalt drill along with having the, um, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you guys, but I have the DeWalt drill along with the impact drill. And then we always have an um, extra battery in there for our DeWalt. So we, we have two drills just in case, two impact guns just in case. And then we have a drill for, for drilling holes. Um, Amelia got me this for Father's Day. It's a magnetic wristband that you can put on your wrist. I haven't used it yet. And so when you're taking screws and stuff off your machines, it's magnetic so you can keep all your screws on your wrist, which I thought was really cool. And so we always keep paper towels in there just in case something happens. We always have a, this, we love this thing. So we have this cordless vacuum that we take with us and we use this for uh, like our big toys and our um, toy soldier for some reason and sometimes other things they get dusty down in the slots where the kids take the toys out or if we need to clean up some mess like if we end up um, drilling a hole for you know, Nyax or Kiosoft or whatever it may be, uh, mostly Kiosoft now, then we have a vacuum to clean up our mess. So we always take this with us and the charger that goes with it and so if we're going to be drilling holes we always have a drill with us. We always keep um, gaffer's tape. I love this stuff. So I used to wor work in um, radio and then I did a lot of um, movies, television, and um, stage stuff. And this was like our best friend. So I'm like addicted to gaffer's tape. And this is the best stuff that doesn't leave residue and you can get it on Amazon. I think it's in our description. And we love this stuff for taping down cords or patching something or fixing something. We always have a couple rolls of this on us. We have um, some extra, this is uh, the string for like our big toys or our um, toy soldier. So we bought that as backup just in case the string decides to break on any of those machines. We also keep in here tool wise, what else we got in here? So tool wise we also got, um, we always keep packing tape just in case we have to box something up or pack something. And then we have some extra parts and stuff. So I've got an extra board in here for the toy soldier or the um, big choice. There is an extra board in here. I always keep, we have two of these um, electronic coin max. So we always have two in our tub. If we use one, we always order another one. So we always have a pair in our tub, uh, new in the box. And then we have these, which we just had to buy, which are light bulbs for the Arctic Thunder. And then these are light bulbs for your guys' um, buttons on your machines and stuff for your um, arcade games. So we had to buy those. So those are in there now. Uh, what else we got in here? So then I have a big, big tub, or not a tub, but a big box of um, locks. So you can, I, it's in the description down below. But you could, we order these, um, which you can even give them even more, somebody told me, but we order them by the 48 pack. 
and it's 48 locks in a pack that are all keyed the same. So we always have some of the extras of those to put on our machines when we go. Um, as a, a party light we ordered for the fair that we, we would basically mount up high when we were at the fairs and it shines lights in the ground. We use that in our booth. And um, then we always carry these with us. So these I made. So um, we love these and well, I love these because they're really nice, but they are the, um, we put one of these in the back of every machine. So if we do a full full line machine like this one, um, Sam, or we do our kid games, Sam goes in the back or on the side of the machine with our phone number. And then if we do like the claw machines, we always put one of Amelia in, um, in the back of the machine with our phone number and stuff so then that way people know that it's their machine and that they can call us if they need help or questions or whatever so we always have those in our tub so that we that way we um you know we can put them on the machines or if one gets taken off or falls off or something we have extras so we have that in our tub and then i have basically manuals so i've kept um like the big choice manuals in here, my toy soldier manuals in here, the Arctic Thunder, um, you know, we have the Cru Cruising USA. Uh, I also keep um, all of our business stuff in here, like copies of it. So like our insurance, uh, multiple copies of our insurance I keep in here. I keep our um, tax ID numbers, paperwork and stuff. So in case we're ever anywhere and they need a copy of any of that stuff because it's happened to us before, I have that on hand. So I always keep that in a folder here in the, um, in my tub. And then we always keep extra because usually we'll have extra or we'll order extra of our, um, you know, tattoo, um, or sticker things that we put in on our machines. So we have extra ones of those in here. And then the last thing that we have in this tub is stickers. So we have, all the different stickers that we ordered, uh, we have, you know, backups of all those. So we've ordered some stuff from E3 Vending. So those are uh, stickers like, give you guys an idea. So like the dollar per play stickers, we ordered these because they're, they fit the galaxies really well. They look really nice on those. And these are from E3 Vending. We got those from him. Um, he also does stickers like instruction stickers and accepts certain bills, um, stickers, stuff like that. So we always keep those in here. Um, so here's a accept certain bills. And then we have um, stickers that we ordered from, put these back. We ordered them from, um, actually this is more from E3, I think. Let's see what's in here. So we got, yeah, they're more, I ordered more of the dollar per play. So those are all those. Um, I ordered a bunch for the fair and I just keep them on hand. And then we have the stuff that we order from vending labels, which is really cool stuff that we like. Um, so we order all of our stuff from them. This is from Candy Machines. This is some parts for one of Amelia's um, candy machines. So I gotta go out and um, there's basically some washers I gotta put on one of her um, candy machines. So that's in the tub. So the next time we go, I can add that. What else is in here? Yeah, so that's those, okay. So that is what's in there. And then in here is stuff we got from um, bendinglabels.com. So we have these, which are really cool. Um, we just got these, which are dollar per play also. But these have our logo on them uh, and also our phone number. So we've been using these as of late just because we wanted something kind of custom on our machines. And then we also order all of our um, stickers for our golden houses from uh, vendinglabels.com. So you can get like find the hidden key, <laughs> find the hidden key, win the prize. Uh, we order all those. We do um, croc charms stickers. I think those are in here. Let's see. Yeah. So now featuring Croc Charms, which Amelia's gonna be happy because I just ordered her some more Croc Charms. And then we have, where's the other ones? We have, um, we do some social media ones. I don't know if they're in here. So there's the dollar per play. 
And then I don't see, we have ones that have our social media information on them. Um, where oh, those are, they gotta be in here somewhere. Maybe those are them. No, those are business cards. Um, somewhere in here is, um, is the social media ones. And we do those uh, with our social media information. So we have our YouTube channel, we have, um, and our, our Instagram and that kind of stuff on the sticker, which is nice. So we add those to that. And so, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much kind of what's in our toolkit. And that's what we use on a weekly basis. When we go out to locations, we keep these two tubs with us at all times. And hopefully that helps you guys because it gives you an idea of what you need to bring and then what we keep on hand. Always keep extra Coimex on hand because uh, those tend to, sometimes they'll jam and it's easier just to take it out and, and instead of trying to fix it and getting the stuff out, sometimes things can really get stuck in there and it's nice to be able just to throw another one on and go home and take it apart and fix it and stuff. So we do, we've done that a few times where we couldn't get the jam out and so we had to go home and take it apart and then find it. But yeah, so that's kind of in a nutshell what we keep in our tub and what our favorite things are and hopefully that helps you guys. Until next time, um, any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We really appreciate it, and thanks for watching. Bye.